Hello, here's a group of my heifers. Most of these reds are bee masters. They're all bee masters. Most of in our heifers, like you see, are Nolaran cattle. Um, cattle are good. They're heifers. See how gentle they are? Uh, there's a creek. I have 20 more over there just like these. But some reason, they don't, these don't walk the creek for some reason. They stay on their side of the creek. So I'll go look at those in a second. But these are nice cattle, good natured. Here's another one, another one of the NR heifers. Uh, that's one right there. She's about the domino. Good cattle. All these cattle are really good natured. So if you're an older rancher, you don't have to worry about being goofy cows. I mean, obviously you have cubes. I feed them cubes. They like cubes. Again, most all these reds are beef masters. There's one Brindle over there. Actually, she's a half blood. She's a, a Angus out of a Brahmin, and she came out tiger stripe. So a few F1 F1 Brangus is in here. Um, two three quarter bloods, really good cattle. Those two brown heifers, I love those females. They'll be big girls. Uh, obviously, you know what the baldy is. Um, most of the cattle are tagged when they're in a calf. If they don't have a tag like her, she has a calf. So the cows that are single tagged already have their calves. Uh, like these cattle, uh, the blacks are equally as good as, as the, the beef mass. Here's pretty representation of all the Nola. These are mostly all the Nola Ryan cattle here. The calves are over there. You see the little calves. Uh, again, the heifers that have one tag means they've already, they, uh, already have calves, so they're pairs. Woo! Girls, there's more cubes over here. Come get them. I'm, I'm, like always, I'm by myself. It's that cubes. Woo! I'll go to the other side of the creek a little bit and video those girls. But they're essentially the same cattle. Come on, girls. Cubes in my hand. Woo! Good natured females. Again, I pin them with that Polaris and this sack of cubes. So they're not crazy by any means. These are two of my spring calvers here. I tag in the right ear. Uh, when they're going to calf. So after I palpate them, I write APR. That means April. F-E-B. February. That way I can remember when they're going to calf. So if somebody wants a group of spring calvers or, or I have some fall calvers as well, I can group them accordingly. That will calve in a, in, in a given window they want to calve in. More video footage. Again, these are, this is my pear patch. Oh, they're starting to come across the creek. Come on, girls. I have more over there. Uh, Again, the good natured females, these are all heifers in this pasture. In the right ear, it's when they're going to calve. That girl's going to calve, yeah. She's already calved. Woo! December calver. Uh, and these reds, actually, they're, she's a half less, well, half Brahmin. She came out a funky color, though. But oh well. She'd be a stout cow when she grows up. Good natured females. Oh, yeah, cute. She's a November calver. Tell your friends come across that creek. There's cubes over here. See them? I'll walk to them in a second. Get Woo! Come on, across. Uh oh. One's the heifer's cabin over there. Yeah, that's the one of the bee master's cabin over there. I'm going to help her. Anyway, nice cattle, good natured females. Um, you probably can see again, I, I said in our previous video, I pinned them with a sack of cubes and a Polaris full water. The horn heifer, I'll sort her off. If somebody wants the horn heifer, I'll gladly sort her off. Anyway, nice cattle again there. The reds, most of these reds are all Nolan Ryan's. A few other ones aren't Nolan Ryan brand like these two right here. They're not beef mash, they're actually half bloods, one to three quarter blood. But they're they're nice cattle right? Uh, right ball, you know what they are bring his herf across. Good cattle. Woo! I have about forty heifer pairs or heifers, whether it be baby calves or pairs in this pasture. Baby bears are bright cows in this batch. There you go. Great heifers. There you go. Have a great day. Bye. All right, I was just over there. A little creek runs down those trees. Video on those heifers. Here's their mates. Same deal. They're just their mates. They're across the creek. The others aren't across the creek. Uh, Couple of yearlings, she's a yearling. This three quarter blood's a yearling, and there's two registered Brahmin cows in here that just uh, stuck them in here. Most of the cattle I've tagged, we're gonna calve most of these brangers for fall calving, like October. That's October, 
We're looking at November, a December, a November, Baldy here. Uh, this is my bull, a heifer bull I use. I love this bull on heifers. He is a Paxson son from Acres Farms. That's Tim Oldie's breeding. The bull is a breeding machine. I've had him turned out for a year. I've used him on Framer heifers. I've used him on these heifers. I've used him on three quarter bloods. I've just, he is F1s. I've just used the hell out of this bull and he still keeps on breeding and stays like that. So if you have an opportunity to get in those, those genetics, uh, they're OCC and uh, Griswold, John Griswold in Oklahoma's bought, it's GCC, and he's bought some of the Gen-X, utilized those. Uh, Stewart Boys, Mid-Continent Farms, has done the same, so if you're in Acres Farms, where I got this bull from, doing the same. If you have a chance getting those, those type of OCC bulls, again, I've turned this bull out for a year plus, and look how fat he is. So, those deep rib, low maintenance bulls know how to hustle. Not the biggest dude in the world, but packed full of meat. Again, I, I tag them the rider when they're in the calf. I have a few of these. I ran out of white tags. I do have their, I know when they're going to calf. I have it written down. So, again, there's January calf, November calf. Most of these girls are babies knocking out the door. Look like she just had one. She's uh, good natured females. Again, these reds are part of the Nolan Ryan deal. The same ones are over there. On this email, I have two or three different videos. I include these. Uh, but again, the heifers that are not tagged, I have that 515. I have her calving date. It's just, I ran out of white tags that day. So, good natured females, make sure good stout cows, and good flesh. Nice Angus bull. I've used on most of my heifers, and he does the deal. He's a OCC Paxton son. He's two and a half, and he's been out here since he was a. No, he's three now. He's been out here a year plus. So I've used him on heifers, one group or the next group. So, good heifers ought to make you money again. There's, if you see how they're walking out, there's. Five, uh, those are all Nolan Ryan heifers here. Five Nolan Ryan beef masters. Uh, these two Brahmins aren't in the deal. And I got another, some more beef masters over there and some more nice bringing it. So I probably had, once I sort them up, 35 or so of these girls, whether they're heavy breads or baby pears. Nice ranching cattle again. They're all good nature. I don't know. Whoever's watching this video, I will not be afraid to, to sell this to a, the first time rancher. Or the older rancher, maybe can't get around real, real, uh, real good. But they want some gentle cattle, and you may be a family member not afraid to buy these for an older rancher either. So they're docile as hell. Again, I cube them, in, I pin them with the Polaris and a sack of feed. So I have horses, but I'd much rather them stay out there and getting fat in the pasture rather than me re riding them. Anyway, you know I'm Clayton Hobbit. Have a blessed day. Uh, I'm a place outside of Gonzales, Texas, in Dale High. If you see this video, please call me fast because I have about 10 guys today have called me on these type of heifers. So if you get the video, uh, don't deal it out around. Give Clay a call. Have a wonderful day.